So they've got uh, their conference season to look forward to. But now it's all about the winners. From Somerset, Yeovil Town Football Club are the FA Trophy winners for the first time in their history. And the players step forward now to kiss the trophy, pat the trophy, and very shortly to receive receiving their winners' medals, which will be taking up a prized position in those Yeovil households tonight, because it means a lot, an awful lot to these players. This is the pinnacle of cup competition, of course, at non-league level. Gary Johnson receives his memento for the day as well, and as Greg Whelan was saying, his first trophy as a manager. And a very handsome trophy it is, the FA Trophy. And we'll have a new name carved on it after today. The name of Yeovil Town Football Club. And for the first time, they lift it in the shape of their captain, Terry Skiverton. Yeovil Town are the winners. It's been a long way to the final thoughts, I'm sure, and my thoughts earlier in commentary, Clive, were on that fourth round replay at Doncaster when they were three down after 50 minutes and a tremendous uh, recovery. And it's all been about that, hasn't it now? Well, it has. When you look back at games, I'm sure Gary Johnson will look back on, on his trip to uh, Villa Park and he'll be thinking about games like that, three nil down, and you think, well, you know, we're, we're out of the trophy for this year. And then they managed to get five goals somehow. And, uh, you know, he'll look back on that sort, of, that sort of game and say, well, maybe that's where we, we started our road to winning this trophy. But he's done a great job with them as Gary, and uh, not only are they a good, good side, but they're good to watch as well. They've got some great individual skills, great individual players, but they're well organised. But he's not only uh, a terrific coach, but proving to be a successful manager now, Gary Johnson. And you just wonder what this club can go on to achieve next season. And if the conference do duly get their two up and two down next season, that'll be, uh, I think, ratified by the Football League chairman in June, their AGM. But they're like uh, schoolboys out there at the moment, these <laughs> Yeovil Town players. Carl Alford looked absolutely shattered about 15 minutes ago when he came off, but all the adrenaline pumping through the veins now. Well, to be fair, Kevin, this is probably the best bit. Once you've once you played the game and it's all finished, this is the best bit. Taking the trophy to the fans, you know, and just enjoying it with them, because that's, uh, that's what they're all here for, to enjoy the occasion. Well, it may not be Wembley anymore, where you won't run round with the FA Trophy. It may be again in the future, but uh, they're not too worried about it at the moment. This is a big stage for non-league footballers, Villa Park, Birmingham, staging its second FA Trophy final. But this time the favourites have prevailed, unlike last year when Canvey Island of the Ryman Premier beat Conference Forest Green. Well, let's go down Adam, to pitch side now. Greg Whelan with Adam Stansfield. Adam, that second goal, to what extent did that finish the game today? Well, it finished him off, we needed an extra goal. Gaffer said we needed two goals all the game, all the time, like him. For the game, so it just put a little bit of ease for the defenders and that, and ran off nicely. You were man of the match today. Many, many congratulations. Yeah. Can you believe how far you've come? A year ago, you were playing in the Western. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Elmore boys. Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe it. In four months, I've come fucking miles. Where's it gone? England semi-professional, uh -huh. and now all of this. Yeah, it's brilliant. I can't believe it. It's brilliant. Uh, all to Gary Johnson. He's done wonders for me. Bought me on leaps and bounds. Thanks very much indeed. Yeah, congratulations yeah. today. A very excitable Adam Stansfield with Greg Whelan. And he's got some way to come down from that planet he's on at the moment, hasn't he? Well, he has, and uh, I'm sure he will. I'm sure Gary will have a word with him, but let him enjoy it. Let him savour the day and probably the evening as well, and perhaps the early hours. But uh, I'm sure he'll have a great time this evening. But again, you know, they look back to the start of next year from now. 
Well, let's hear again for another of the jubilant Yeovil Town players, Greg Whelan's with Carl Alford. Carl, ten years ago you were a loser, this time you're a winner. How does that mean? Oh, it's unbelievable. Uh, brilliant crowd we've got today. I'm absolutely delighted. Uh, great for the fans. Uh, I'm so pleased to get the goal as well. Uh, and I put Adam in for the second. But you just got to look around the place. It's absolutely fabulous. Uh, it's what they deserve. Fans have been brilliant. How much of a highlight is it for you? Not only the goal, not only the game, but you had your family here with you as well. That's right, the family's here. It's been a brilliant day all round. Up to the preparation right to the final. Uh, it can't speak kindly enough for the club. We've really looked after the players. Uh, I'm just so pleased for the fans. It's their day out now. They can go and enjoy it. Carl, congratulations. Well done. Thank you very much. Well, today he's been all about players like Carl Orford. Been a great servant to non-league football down the years, Clive, and uh, he's uh, fully deserving of all the plaudits coming his way today. Absolutely, and, um, you know, at 30 years of age, he now gets the, the thing that he deserves. Well, as Terry Skiverton enjoys clutching on to the FA Trophy again, we'll be back very shortly, but the 2002 FA Trophy final winners are Yeovil Town. They've beaten Seamridge Borough here at Villa Park by two goals to nil.